feel like a lot of people are down on the San Fran team. I'm not as down because I, I feel like uh, with injuries and just the way that we're able to develop people, we'll be fine. We just need a healthy quarterback. But what my question is, is, you know, this year we have uh, a lot of people that we left that left our team in, in the coaching and personnel departments. I was wondering, you know, 49ers, other than the 2017 year, we've been pretty good with uh, drafting people um, and getting put, uh, drafting productive players. Is there mm. anybody that we're not thinking about that we might be able to trade for either this round picks or this year's picks or future round picks that might like uh, that we might be able to finesse the Jets or the Washington football team with um, to help Ooh. us like down the line keep the window open that they might be high on that we could let go of maybe an Armstead or even guys depth <laughs> some future that could help us. Let's just focus on the Jets. Let's focus on the Jets. How can the Niners finesse the Jets? First thing I was thinking of was Bosa. But you could do better. You said Armstead? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Because maybe Robert Sala really loves Eric Armstead. Maybe Robert Sala was the one who campaigned for the Niners to keep Armstead over Buckner. Maybe that was his idea. I don't know. It seems like the, like the coaches have a lot of input on personnel decisions on the Niners. So if that's the case, maybe you call them up and say, hey, may, could we have your second first round pick for Eric Armstead? What do you say, Robert? Maybe you get him. Maybe Robert feels like Eric Armstead is the kind of guy he needs to institute his system or his culture. What do you think? Is it possible? Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Even like depth pieces, guys down the, down the um, you know, maybe – like a Dre Greenlaw or, or people like that that might get like a future second or a future. What about like, Fred um, Warner? Picks. What about Fred Warner? Okay, let's talk about Fred Warner real quick. Man. Because I he's really that. good. <laughs> he's really, really good, right? But we're trying to talk like the, we're looking for players that Sala likes more than the Niners. And Fred Warner's great, but Robert Sala talks about him like he's the greatest middle linebacker of all time, the Peyton Manning of middle linebackers. Well, if that's the case, then how many first round picks is Fred Warner worth to the Jets? Two? Is yeah. it worth two first yeah. round picks? I'm just saying, I'm not, if you're trying to fleece a team, you got to give them something they want. Maybe they want someone like that. But Armstead, War Greenlaw, Bosa, Warner, those are his guys. Maybe you could get multiple first round picks. That's It's interesting. I see a lot of people in the in the comment section being like, no, don't do it. Only if Sal, only if Sal is willing to trade two, three first round picks. You're trying to fleece him. That's the whole idea. Right. So, and I was wondering, I like also, this with Nico Ryan's being the new defensive coordinator, do you feel like his relationship with Watt might be able to pull him over to the Niners? Why not? Connection to JJ Watt, use it. it seems to me, all of a sudden, you want to choose. Like, do we want Trent Williams or J.J. Watt? Why would you necessarily choose Trent Williams over J.J. Watt? At least discuss it because Watt's probably cheaper. They play different positions. You need both of them. You need an end. You need a, a tackle. I don't know. Um, I think you would probably want to work that, especially if he's considering going to the Packers and the Niners see themselves as a, a real contender. Well, you got to go through Green Bay next season. Why do you just want to let him go to Green Bay? So, yeah, call. Try to work that. See if D'Amico Ryans can do something. Because if he can get J.J. Watt here, then it was all worth promoting D'Amico Ryans and not uh, even interviewing anyone else. It'd be worth it. I'm into the J.J. Watt thing. A lot of people are like, no, it won't work. He doesn't fit this. Whatever. He's a good player. Why not? He's better than Eric Armstead. You know? For It'd be sure. like getting DeForest Buckner back. Yeah, and I think that uh, his leadership and then, you know, we're losing leadership with uh, Sherman probably and obviously with uh, – you know, with um, Salah being gone, but with D'Amico, with J.J. Watt already being a big D'Amico fan, that could bring that whole, like, camaraderie thing back and, you know, give us another person that we know could be a future Hall of Famer type of a player on a squad. If I were Kyle Shanahan, I'd be tell I would have already told D'Amico, you need to call him. You need to do what you see. Tell me what you can do. Work your magic. Don't call me back until you get J.J. Watt in the building. Let's go take him out to Morton's. Come on, D'Amico. That's, <laughs> that's why I hired you. Come on, man. I like this. Good stuff, Sunil.